welcome to another episode of MTG Basics Deck Tech Video for Shauna Purifying Blade. I'm Reptile and we'll be going over my high power build for this deck. If you would like to play games of magic with us on Spell Table, link to our Discord and all other social media will be in the description down below where you can contact us directly. Shauna Purifying Blade is a 3-3 human warrior for Bant, which reads, Lifelink, at the beginning of your end step, you may pay X. If you do, draw X cards. X can't be greater than the amount of life you've gained this turn. The central game plan around this commander relies on utilizing life gain to gain card advantage through Shauna's end step trigger. In order to accomplish this, we utilize reliable life gain triggers and a large amount of mana producing permanents to pay for Shauna's triggered ability while also leaving mana open for interaction. Outside of Shauna, we run multiple high payoff life gain effects to close out games if Shauna is unavailable to us. This deck is primarily a creature based deck as we run 41 creatures. The lower end of our curve consists of cheap life gain effects and mana dorks while our higher mana creatures benefit off of life gain effects to help us win through combat damage. Besides these creatures mentioned before, utility creatures such as scavenging news and haywire might provide us with ways to interact with our opponents while keeping in line with our main strategy. The instants in this deck are mainly sectioned off between interaction and tutors. Interaction spells include the blue package of counter spells and a white removal spells in Swords to Plowshare and Heliod's Intervention. Green provides us with multiple creature tutors, allowing us to access toolbox creatures such as Eternal Witness. As mentioned before, the artifacts in this deck are primarily focused on producing mana with two notable exclusions in Aether Flux Reservoir and Well of Lost Dreams. Aether Flux provides us a method to turn our life into damage, while the latter provides a near identical replacement to our commander. The enchantments in this list are also streamlined towards either being an additional source of life gain, or an additional source of card draw. When piloting this deck, it is important to consider specific cards and strategies that make it difficult or impossible to progress our game plan. Anti-life gain effects remove most of our value engines and prevent any life gain triggers from occurring. Specific stacks pieces which target our mana production or our ability to draw cards must also be addressed otherwise we will gradually fall behind on card advantage as the game progresses. Thank you for watching MTG Basics deck tech video for Shauna Purifying Blade. If you would like to see this deck in action, be sure to look out for the companion gameplay video showcasing this deck alongside others. If you have any suggestions for this deck or style of video, let us know in the comments down below.